the 4th of September 2023. And we have a number of very interesting news. The first one comes from Scotland. And it's a new art bag. Yes, uh, it's a limited edition called Art Bags Harpy's Tale 13 Years. I'm not quite sure how much I'm allowed to talk about it. I think the name is out. But uh, I've already tried the whiskey and I'm not allowed to show it to you yet. There is an information embargo. I think it will come around uh, the 21st of September. So there's going to be a video there. But have a look. It's going to be a yeah, great new art bag coming up. Then we have a new Loch Lear. It's called the Harvest Edition. And this time it's the second crop. So Loch Lear, if everybody doesn't know, uh, it's the, yeah, it's a small batch distillery that produces its own barley and they bring out the seasonal bottlings called uh, for the spring it's snowing, summer is harvest, um, autumn is fallow and winter is plowing. And this time in the second harvest, we have a port wine, first fill bourbon cask and STR barrique cask maturation. And uh, they want to especially emphasize they have used a lot of port wine casks. If you go to whiskey.com, you will find this new bottling in the shop there to buy if you happen to live in the Netherlands. Then we have Kings Barnes Bells Rock. So Kings Barnes, the lowland single malt, bringing out Oloroso sherry bud and first fill bourbon barrels with 7030 distribution there, limited to 3,600 bottles, 61.1% cask strength, not colored, not chilfered, and it will be around 90 euros, 75 pounds. Then we have a little bit of a more expensive uh, whiskey. That is the Brora Iris, 50 year old. And this is the oldest bottled Brora yet, and it's just one bottle. It's an ensemble uh, from uh, a stone sculpture from the uh, artist uh, Michel Debrun. And it's the eye of a wild cat. And that is the, uh, yeah, the animal of the herald of the Brora distillery. And the, yeah, the stone where it's sculptured out is the same stone that the distillery of Brora is built. And it will be sold at Sotheby's uh, in October. As I said, one bottle distilled in 1975, and there will be 1.5 liters of whiskey involved. So yeah, it's pretty much an art thing there going on and will be really, really expensive. Then we have Ian McLeod Distillers. They're getting their permit for building new warehouses northeast of Glasgow in the town Trosk. Yeah, it's gonna be nine warehouses, blending center, and uh, yeah, also, yeah, a building for the, the clerks. And then we have the Instarni distillery, which is a bit of a strange thing going on there because this is a distillery in Fife, um, Scotland, but it wants to produce Irish pot still whiskey. So they are really looking at the Irish pot still whiskey and bringing it to Fife in Scotland. Um, yeah, they've already did experiments with rye whiskey, rye law and they don't have a release, uh, release um, for that whiskey yet. So we're going to have a look at what they are going to do. Um, yeah, a bit strange that we have a Scotsman that wants to be an Irishman. Hmm, never heard of that. Yeah, then we have the Eden Mill founder. He is actually pulling back uh, yeah, personal reasons. And his follow up will be Rene uh, Donaldson. His, uh, that was the chief operation officer. And now he is going to be the chief executive officer. And yeah, that is uh, a bit of a personal change there. Then we have Ireland, the Titanic distillers, as we already told you in October uh, 2022 um, is a new yeah, distillery in uh, Scotland, in Belfast. And they are now producing whiskey since uh, since 90 years. There haven't been any whiskey in Belfast. Yeah, so when they produce the whiskey now, they will be bringing out the whiskey earliest 2026. Then we have Diageo and they are having a permit for their yeah, logistics halls at Bailey's. 
they are investing 26 million pounds in the building and the production uh, in Malusk in also Northern Ireland, just northwest of Belfast. And they want to start building in 2024. And then also we have a change with Diageo, which is, uh, yeah, they are changing a lot about their bottles. And they are yeah reduce. I'm not quite sure how much they are allowed to reduce information, but they are bringing the information onto our website and every Every bottle is going to have a QR code and then you can go to all the to, to this QR code and you're getting all the detailed information. So what they want to do is more transparency because they have more space to get these information. And yeah, this is going to be first launched at the European market. So not the US markets. Talking about US, we have a new distillery in the US. It's called the Heaven Hill Springs Distillery. I've already told you about the investment, $200 million, and now they're installing their new still. It's a Vendum Copper still, 60 feet high for all of you uh, metric guys out there. That's about mm, a bit more than 18 meters. And that can produce about 500 US standard barrels per day. So the filling of 500 barrels. Um, this is the first step into the production at Bardstown since the big fire in 1996 for Haven Hill. Yeah, they want to produce, start producing end of 2024. Yes, with a big column still like that, you have to have a little bit more time. And then for all of you US Americans out there and for all of you football fans out, American football fans out there, Joe Montana is launching his own collection. I don't know him, but he is a football legend and he is one of the best NFL quarterbacks. He led the San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers to uh, four victories at their Super Bowl. And now he's working together with Gold Bar Whiskey and he's bringing out two bottlings. The Gold Bar Whiskey's Joe Montana. It's going to be the blend number 273. And the other bottling will be the blend number 117. And the bottling is going to have special NFC chips where you can then scan, uh, put your mobile phone on it and it will automatically open the side where you can see Joe Montana telling you about the whiskey and how he likes to enjoy this whiskey. Unfortunately, it's only uh, available in the US, but I think, yeah, American football is really an American thing. Maybe, maybe Canada a bit, but it's not a thing, much of a thing in Europe. Yeah. Then we're going to go to the international market and there's a big political thing going on that is affecting whiskey a lot. And that is the trade, um, yeah, the trade contract between India and UK. India used to be one part of the UK. And now they're not. They're independent, and now they are, yeah, haggling with the UK to get a good trade agreement. And yeah, so they they say they're in the final stages. And they want to uh, reduce tariffs and they used to have tariffs or still have tariffs right as of right now. We're at 100% on cars and 150% on whiskey and they actually want to get rid of that. So what does that have the effect on yeah, the international markets? More of the whiskey is going to flow from Scotland to India and Indians do like Scottish whiskey and it's going to be become like... Uh, it's going to be a bit, of a, a bit more than a third of the price that it had before. Uh, so the price is going to fall in India, but uh, a lot of whiskey is going to flow to India. So there's not going to be that much whiskey for rest of the world. So the prices for Scotch whiskey will rise uh, a bit higher for the international markets, though, US, European market. So, yeah, it's, it's not a good uh, story for everybody who does not live in India. Yeah, then we have... Scotch whiskey is going to have their brand uh, protected in Hong Kong. There are already a hundred um, yeah, regions where they recognize Scotch whiskey as a brand and you can't sell just sell Scotch whiskey. Uh, and now Hong Kong is part of that. So there are still countries where you can just sell Scotch whiskey and 
the Scottish Whiskey Association can't do anything about it because they are bound to Scotland. But more and more uh, countries see Scotch whiskey as, yeah, from Scotland. Yeah, then we have news, a lot of uh, investments into whiskey cars. There have been a lot of scammers going around. So don't buy your whiskey cars from people you don't know. And if you buy, if you're not into that market, have be careful when you enter that market. And now a uh, last, um, what do you call it? A last news uh, in, in our own thing, uh, the new club bottling, the new whiskey.de and therefore whiskey.com club bottling is gonna come out at the end of the week and also the German language catalog for whiskey.de and you can get it for whiskey.com as well, but yeah, you can scroll through it and see the prices. And yeah, you can only buy if you're in the Netherlands, Germany or in Austria, but we're gonna follow with more countries in the future. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.